that all works here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to animate the backflip. So first you just need a few things, of course your minifigure, a piece of wire, some blue tack to hold the wire down, a stand for your camera or phone, and then of course the stop, uh, the stop motion app that you are using. Okay. So I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to show you how to do it. The first step that you need to do is to stick the base plate down because otherwise it will wobble and then you'll have very wobbly animation. And then the next thing is to put your camera or phone on a stand. So then to start animating, go to your camera, and you take a picture of the first frame, and you move your figure slightly, and then again, so I'm shooting in 24 frames per second at the moment, so I need a really small movement to make this smooth. So I did a video where I tried this out. And I got a few requests, the one that I can remember was from Killer Yeet to make this video on how to do it. So here it is. So then once you get to this part, where your figure is just about to lift off, that's where you need the blue tack and the wire. So I'm going to get some blue tack. So you want to stick a piece down, I'm going to put a piece over there, then properly get it stuck to your base plate. And you're going to want another piece of blue tack to go on the end of the wire to stick to your minifigure. So you're going to stick the wire down in this blue tack over here. And add a little bit of blue tack on here. That's probably a bit much, but oh well. And you stick that to the back of your minifigure. Like that. And just stick down any excess wire out of your way. So then you lift your minifigure up and you don't want it to be a significant movement so if your wire is trying to bend too much stick it down in the right place for that so that then it can't go too far upwards in one movement. So there we go, it's in the right place now. And then you're gonna keep on animating as he moves over and then the thing I forgot in my very first practice of this is to switch the blue tacks side so you then want it on this side because you can't erase the blue tack over the figure seems smooth enough for now and you're going to keep moving so this I'm using stop motion studio pro costs five pound on the app store but it is definitely worth it before I switched to this I was using pick pack which was a very good software but it wasn't right for what I was doing So I switched. Okay, so now I don't need the wire or blue tack anymore, so I can get rid of that. Just out of the frame because he's now back down on the ground. With this you need to ease in and ease out, because if you just had a back, uh, back flip where you stand up straight and end straight, it's not going to work properly. And you want to bring the arms down back to the starting position. Let's take a look at it so far. So 
that looks pretty smooth. So then you go back into the studio. And then you need to copy this clean frame here. And then on each one with a wire. So that would be the first one. You need to paste a clean, uh, paste a clean frame. So over each frame. And then you're going to click the erase button. Oh, wrong frame. I actually clicked on the on the clean frame. You don't want to do that. Click on the frame with the wire in it. Then click the erase button. And then you want to make it a bit bigger. And you can remove all the wire and the blue tack. And you need to turn the size down a bit when you get close to the figure. Unless you have a really steady hand. So then you go back. And you can't see any trace of the wire. Then you can delete the clean frame that you made. And you can do that with all the others, and I will be back when I have done that. Okay, so I'm back now, and I have uh, raised all of the wire from each frame. So let's take a look at it. <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments, and if you found this tutorial useful, let me know if you want me to make any more tutorials, and if you find it enjoyable, please leave a like, and maybe even consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.